Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Nancy's Daily Bites. Today's topic is on radicular cyst and types. Radicular cyst is an inflammatory cyst lined by epithelium which extends from the pulp to the surrounding periapical tissues. It is otherwise known as periapical cyst and it is the most common odontogenic cyst. The etiological factors involves caries, physical, chemical and mechanical injury, restorations, pulpal death due to developmental defects and trauma. Pathogenesis involves two theories. One is the nutrition deficient theory in which the periapical inflammatory changes leads to epithelial proliferation and the center mass deprived of the nutrition from the periapical tissues results in necrotic changes in the center lined by the epithelial cells of the periphery. Next one is the abscess theory given by Walter Hogg in which the initial stage the bacterial endotoxins causes inflammatory changes in the epical region of the tooth leading to proliferation of the epithelial cells of molasses. The cis developmental stage the proliferative epithelial cells strengthen the cystic wall and the uh, multiple cavities are formed which are lined by individual epithelium. The cyst growth stage, the plasma exudates increases and leading to the attraction of the lot of inflammatory cells and the cystic pressure increases than the capillary pressure and leading to the osteoclastic bone resorption and the cyst ultimately expands. The Nayar has given two types of radicular cyst. One is the periapical pocket or the base cyst in which the cystic epithelium is in continuation with the root canal which is involved. In the periapical true cyst, the cavity which is, is completely enclosed in the epithelial lining and is independent of the root canal of the offending tooth. The features involves round pier or oval shaped radiolucencies which are lined by thin radiopic margin and it is generally asymptomatic and the involved tooth is usually non-vital. The differential diagnosis invo involves granuloma, cementosseous dysplasia, odontogenic tumors, non-odontogenic tumors like incisive canal cysts, globular maxillary cysts and normal bony cavity. The treatment involves RCT, epistectomy, extraction, enucleation with primary closure and mass supplication in case of large cyst. Thanks for watching guys. Meet you in the next video. Subscribe for more bites.